Did you know that anger, a natural emotion we all experience, can be transformed into a powerful catalyst for positive change? Most of us see anger as something to avoid or suppress, but what if I told you that embracing it, while mastering the art of delay, can lead to deeper understanding and healthier relationships? If you want to navigate the complexities of anger and turn it into an opportunity for growth, you need to learn the techniques that allow you to pause, reflect, and respond thoughtfully. In this video, we'll explore practical strategies that can help you catch anger early, transform it into action, and cultivate self-control in your daily life. Get ready to embark on a journey of self-discovery and empowerment as we unravel the true power of delay and how it can transform your emotional landscape. Whether you're 18 or 65, this is a skill that can enrich your life and relationships in profound ways. 1. Understanding anger as a natural emotion. Imagine a moment from your life when you felt pure joy. Perhaps it was a family gathering, a milestone celebration, or simply enjoying a beautiful day outdoors. That rush of happiness is something we all cherish. We laugh, we connect, and we savor the good times. But what happens when that joy is interrupted? Suddenly, you find yourself in a heated argument or faced with a frustrating situation, and there it is, anger, an emotion that often feels unwelcome. But let's take a step back. Anger isn't inherently bad, it's a natural response, a part of our emotional landscape that signals something important is at stake. Think about it. When we get angry, it's usually because we care deeply about something our values, our loved ones, or our sense of justice. This emotion serves a purpose, it alerts us to issues that require our attention. It's essential to recognize that anger is not the enemy, rather. It's a messenger, trying to tell us something. As you reflect on your experiences, consider the last time you felt anger bubbling up. Was it during a frustrating day at work, when someone disrespected you, or perhaps during a political debate that struck a nerve? These moments resonate with us because they reveal our passions and our desires for a better world. Anger can often arise when we feel misunderstood or threatened, and while it's easy to push that feeling aside, embracing it can lead to personal growth and understanding. So let's delve deeper into this complex emotion and uncover its true nature. 2. The importance of delay in responses. Now, picture yourself in that moment of anger, your heart racing, thoughts swirling. It's easy to react impulsively but what if you paused instead? Imagine the power that comes with that brief moment of delay. The joy you felt earlier can transform into a more profound understanding of your emotions. It's in this pause that we can reclaim our power over how we respond to anger. Think back to your teenage years, when emotions ran high and reactions often led to drama. Maybe you remember a friend who would explode at the slightest provocation, causing rifts that seemed impossible to mend. It's relatable, isn't it? We've all witnessed or experienced that kind of blow-up. But what if those moments had been tempered with a moment of reflection? Instead of reacting, we could take a breath, ask ourselves what's truly at stake, and respond from a place of clarity rather than chaos. This practice of delaying our reactions is not just a technique, it's a skill that can profoundly affect our relationships and our well-being. It allows us to step back and assess the situation rather than dive headfirst into conflict. By creating that space between stimulus and response, we gain the opportunity to choose a more thoughtful and constructive path. This skill is especially relevant in today's fast-paced world, where everything feels urgent and emotions can easily spiral out of control. So let's explore how we can cultivate this vital practice in our daily lives. 3. Real-life examples of applying delay. Now, 
Let's bring this concept to life with real stories that might remind you of your own experiences. Picture Sarah, a high-powered executive who finds herself in a critical meeting. She's juggling deadlines and team dynamics, and suddenly, a colleague presents a poorly prepared report. The anger surges within her, threatening to spill over, but instead of unleashing her frustration, she remembers the importance of delay. She takes a deep breath, reflects on what's truly within her control, and decides to respond thoughtfully. This moment of pause transforms a potential conflict into an opportunity for growth and collaboration. This scenario may resonate with you. How often have you been in a position where the stakes felt high and the pressure was on? Perhaps it was a confrontation with a co-worker or a disagreement with a family member. The emotions can feel overwhelming, but Sarah's story illustrates the power of delay. It's not about suppressing anger, it's about choosing how to respond. Then there's Michael, a high school teacher. He faces the daily challenge of managing a classroom full of teenagers, each with their own personalities and struggles. One day, a student's disruptive behavior pushes him to the edge. Anger flares up, but instead of reacting in frustration, Michael uses his moment of delay. He considers the underlying issues that may be causing the behavior and decides to approach the student with empathy. This decision transforms a potentially explosive situation into a meaningful interaction that not only addresses the behavior, but also fosters understanding and growth. These examples may evoke feelings of nostalgia, recalling your own experiences in similar situations. They remind us that while anger is a shared human experience, how we navigate it can define our relationships and outcomes. As we explore these stories, consider how you might apply the art of delay in your own life, turning moments of anger into opportunities for connection and growth. 4. Mindfulness, Catching Anger Early, now, let's shift our focus to mindfulness, a practice that can dramatically change how we experience anger. Imagine for a moment that you're sitting in a quiet room, the world outside bustling with noise and activity. In this serene space, you take a deep breath, feeling your chest rise and fall. This simple act of breathing becomes a powerful tool for self-awareness, helping you recognize the early signs of anger before they spiral out of control. Mindfulness teaches us to tune into our emotions, to become observers of our thoughts and feelings rather than mere reactors. It's easy to dismiss anger when it first arises, perhaps chalking it up to a bad day or someone else's poor behavior. However, by practicing mindfulness, we can learn to catch those initial feelings of frustration or irritation early on. Think back to a time when you felt that familiar surge of anger, maybe during a frustrating commute or a heated discussion. If only you had paused to acknowledge those feelings before they took over. Picture this you're at work and a colleague interrupts you during a meeting. Your heart starts racing and a wave of annoyance washes over you. Instead of lashing out, mindfulness invites you to take a step back. You notice the tension in your shoulders, the clenching of your jaw, and the heat rising in your chest. By recognizing these physical cues, you gain insight into your emotional state, creating an opportunity to respond with intention rather than impulse. Regularly practicing mindfulness helps you build this awareness. It doesn't have to be complicated. Simple techniques like focused breathing or brief meditation can create a solid foundation for emotional regulation. When you integrate mindfulness into your daily routine, you become more adept at identifying the subtle signs of anger. Over time, this awareness allows you to interrupt the automatic cycle of reaction and take that vital moment to delay your response. 5. Daily Reflection for Continuous Improvement As we dive deeper into the practice of managing anger, Let's explore the concept of daily reflection. Imagine wrapping up your day, perhaps sitting quietly with a cup of tea or journaling before bed. 
This quiet time allows you to reflect on your emotions and actions throughout the day, particularly in moments that tested your patience. Daily reflection offers a structured way to examine your responses to anger. Consider asking yourself questions like, when did I feel anger today? Did I manage to create a delay before responding? If I reacted without pause, how could I have approached the situation differently? This exercise invites you to engage in a deeper conversation with yourself, fostering growth and self-awareness. Let's take a moment to think about a particularly challenging day you experienced. Perhaps it involved a disagreement with a friend or a frustrating interaction at work. By reflecting on how you handled those situations, you gain valuable insights into your emotional triggers and patterns. This isn't just about identifying mistakes, it's about celebrating your successes, no matter how small. Did you manage to pause before responding? Did you express your feelings constructively? Recognizing these moments reinforces positive behavior and encourages continuous improvement. Over time, this practice builds resilience. You start to notice recurring themes in your anger, situations that consistently trigger a strong emotional response. By identifying these patterns, you can prepare yourself in advance. For example, if you know that certain conversations with a family member often lead to conflict, you can set an intention to approach those discussions with a mindset of curiosity and compassion. Daily reflection empowers you to take ownership of your emotional responses, transforming anger from a reactive force into an opportunity for self-discovery and growth. 6. Righteous anger when delay matters. Now let's explore a more nuanced aspect of anger, righteous anger. This is the anger that arises in response to perceived injustices or wrongdoing. It's an emotion that can fuel passion and drive positive change, but it also requires careful navigation. Think about historical figures who have harnessed righteous anger to challenge systemic injustices, individuals like Martin Luther King Jr. or Nelson Mandela. Their anger was not just a reaction, it was a call to action, a catalyst for social transformation. However, even righteous anger demands the practice of delay. When faced with a situation that feels unjust, the instinct might be to react immediately, to raise your voice or take swift action. But without pause, that response can easily become counterproductive. Reflect on a time when you felt justified in your anger, perhaps after witnessing an unfair situation or when someone you care about was treated poorly. It's a powerful emotion, but it can quickly lead to escalation if not managed properly. Consider the wisdom of the Stoics, who emphasized the importance of waiting before expressing anger, even when it seems justified. Seneca famously advised waiting for witnesses before reacting, allowing time to ensure that your anger is proportional and constructive. This delay allows you to clarify your thoughts, articulate your feelings, and determine the best course of action. For example, if you encounter a situation of workplace discrimination, instead of confronting the perpetrator in the heat of the moment, take a step back, reflect on the facts, gather your thoughts, and decide how best to advocate for yourself and others. This doesn't mean suppressing your anger, rather. It's about channeling it into effective action. By delaying your immediate reaction, you open the door to a more thoughtful and impactful response that aligns with your values and goals. 7. Transforming anger into positive action. As we navigate our emotional landscape, it's essential to recognize that anger, when managed effectively, can be a powerful catalyst for positive change. Imagine a scenario where you've identified an issue that frustrates you Perhaps it's a community problem or an injustice that you can't ignore. Instead of succumbing to destructive anger, you harness that emotion as a driving force for action. Consider your own experiences. Have you ever channeled feelings of anger into something constructive? 
Maybe you started volunteering for a cause you're passionate about, or perhaps you advocated for change within your workplace. This transformation from anger to action is not only empowering, it reinforces your sense of agency in the world. When faced with anger, take a moment to pause and ask yourself, how can I use this feeling to create positive change? This question can redirect your emotional energy toward a constructive outcome. For instance, if you feel anger about environmental issues, you might choose to participate in community cleanups, advocate for policy changes, or educate others about sustainability. By transforming anger into action, you not only address the underlying issue, but also cultivate a sense of purpose and fulfillment. This approach aligns beautifully with the stoic philosophy of viewing challenges as opportunities for growth. When we embrace anger as a signal that something needs attention, we shift our perspective from being victims of our emotions to becoming active agents of change. Each moment of anger can serve as an invitation to engage with the world more meaningfully, promoting awareness and driving action. 8. Cultivating Moderation and Self-Control As we continue our exploration of managing anger, let's delve into the critical components of moderation and self-control. These traits are not just abstract ideals, they are practical skills that we can cultivate through mindful practice. Imagine a world where you can navigate conflict without losing your composure, where your responses are measured and aligned with your values. Reflect on moments in your life when you've acted impulsively, letting anger dictate your behavior. Maybe it was a heated argument with a loved one or an outburst at work that left you feeling regretful. These experiences are all too common and they highlight the importance of developing self-control. The good news is that self-control can be trained like any other skill. To cultivate moderation, consider setting intentions before entering potentially triggering situations. For instance, if you know you'll be discussing sensitive topics with a friend or family member, take a moment to clarify your goals for that conversation. Are you aiming to resolve a conflict? Express your feelings. By establishing your objectives, you create a framework for how you want to respond, which can help steer your emotions in a constructive direction. Additionally, techniques such as box breathing can enhance self-control. When you feel anger surfacing, take a moment to engage in this practice. Inhale deeply for four counts. Hold for four counts, exhale for four counts, and hold again for four counts. This rhythmic breathing calms your nervous system and provides that crucial pause, allowing you to regain composure and clarity. By incorporating these practices into your daily life, you not only enhance your ability to manage anger, but also foster a greater sense of peace and resilience. Imagine facing conflicts with a newfound sense of calm, where your responses are intentional rather than reactive. This transformation opens the door to healthier relationships and a more balanced emotional life. 9. The Journey of Mastering Delay Now that we've explored various strategies for managing anger, let's reflect on the journey of mastering delay. This isn't just a one-time effort, it's an ongoing process that requires commitment, patience and self-compassion. Picture this journey as a path filled with both challenges and triumphs. Along the way, you'll encounter moments of success, as well as times when anger catches you off guard. Embracing this journey means recognizing that growth isn't linear. There will be days when you respond thoughtfully and skillfully, and other days when you might react impulsively. It's important to approach each experience with a mindset of curiosity rather than judgment. When you react in anger, instead of berating yourself, ask what you can learn from the situation. What triggered your response? How did it feel in your body? This reflective practice reinforces your understanding and prepares you for future encounters. As you navigate this path, Celebrate your victories, no matter how small. 
Each time you successfully delay an angry response or choose a constructive reaction, acknowledge that achievement. Over time, these small successes accumulate, leading to significant transformations in how you relate to anger and to others. Moreover, consider seeking support from others on this journey. Sharing your experiences with friends, family, or even support groups can provide valuable insights and encouragement. You're not alone in this endeavor. Many individuals are working to master their emotional responses. By fostering a sense of community, you create a supportive environment that reinforces your commitment to growth. 10. Embracing the power of delay in daily life. Finally, let's explore the profound impact of embracing the power of delay in your daily life. This concept isn't merely about managing anger, it's about reshaping how you engage with the world around you. When you master the art of delay, you gain the ability to navigate challenges with grace, compassion, and intentionality. Imagine a typical day you wake up to the usual rush, perhaps juggling work, family, and social commitments. In this hectic environment, the potential for anger can lurk around every corner. But what if you approached each moment with a sense of pause? By incorporating the practice of delay into your daily routine, you create space for thoughtful responses rather than knee-jerk reactions. Consider setting aside moments throughout your day for intentional reflection. Before meetings, during breaks, or even while commuting, take a few deep breaths and check in with yourself. Ask, how am I feeling? What emotions are surfacing? By cultivating this awareness, you empower yourself to respond more thoughtfully when challenges arise. Moreover, sharing this practice with those around you can amplify its impact. Discuss the importance of delay with your family or friends. Encourage open conversations about emotions and conflict resolution. By creating a culture of mindfulness and reflection in your relationships, you not only enhance your own emotional intelligence, but also contribute to the emotional well-being of those you care about. As you embrace the power of delay in your daily life, you'll likely notice a shift in your overall well-being. Conflicts become opportunities for connection. Misunderstandings transform into moments of clarity, and anger evolves into a tool for positive action. This journey is not just about avoiding negative outcomes, it's about enriching your life with greater understanding, compassion, and joy. As we wrap up this exploration of mastering anger through the art of delay, I want to hear from you. Drop a comment below and let me know your thoughts. If you've watched this far, drop a hundred to show you're part of the 0.01% who are committed to personal growth and making meaningful changes in their lives. Your journey towards emotional mastery begins with this simple acknowledgement. If you're serious about transforming your life and embracing the power of delay, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Join our community dedicated to growth, understanding and resilience. Together, we can navigate the complexities of emotions and emerge stronger, more compassionate individuals. Thank you for being here and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.